In this video, I'm going to be covering the drawing portion of the different cams that we've been modeling in class. So the first thing you'll want to take a look at is this cam dimensioning page in the 4.5 area of the Project Lead the Way site. And what I want you to look at is find your cam first off, so whichever one you had. And then I want you to determine how many dimensions do you need on your drawing when you go um, create the drawing in Inventor. So for example, with the pair cam, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five dimensions. The other thing you want to make note of is the center marks. So I have a center mark for this circle. I have a center mark for this circle. Now we have two concentric circles, so I'm going to click the outside circle to add that center mark. Over here in the eccentric cam, I have one, two, three, four dimensions. And I have two center marks. I have one for this big circle, and then I have one for this circle. With the snail cam, I have one, two, three, four dimensions. And then I have a center mark for this circle. I'm sorry, a center mark for this circle. And I can't remember if all those are concentric. I don't think they are. This is definitely not concentric because that was an arc. So maybe I'll demo that one. But um, we'll take a look at that one at the end. And then finally, with the re uh, regular hexagon, you're going to have one, two, three, four dimensions. Okay? So I'm going to start with the pair cam, and then at the very end, I'll show you the snail cam. These two should be fairly straightforward, um, but I'm going to demo with the pair cam. And again, your numbers are probably going to be different because in all of my examples that I did, I used 1.5 for my nominal diameter. So don't freak out if your dimensions aren't matching up correctly. It may be because you used a different nominal diameter. Now, if you use the 1.5 and your dimensions aren't matching, then yes, something might be wrong. And then you just have to navigate back into the model and make the necessary corrections within your sketches. So I'm going to go to Inventor. Now I've provided you with a master template already in our folder, so you're going to have to go ahead and open that. So I'm going to click open. I'm going to navigate down to the V drive into our folder, uh, whatever class period I have you, and then I have a master template folder. In there you'll find the template. Hit open. <clears throat> and the first thing you'll need to do is a save as. So I'm going to do file save as and I'm saving so I'm going to navigate back down into period one go into my student folder find my name find my 4.5 cam folder and then rename this so we'll call this um, whatever cam you have so pair cam is the one I'm going to do for this example I'm going to hit save now if you remember the standard is to do the three um, I, or three orthographic views, which is your top, front, right side, and then we will do an isometric. But for these, in our scenario, we really technically only need a front and a side view to show the thickness. So we're only going to have two views. Actually, I should say three because we're going to have a front, a right side, and an isometric. So I'm going to go ahead and hit base, and then I need to search and locate my different cams. So you're going to navigate into your student folder and go find your um, your cams. So once you've navigated to your student folder, you're going to look for your part file. Now you're only going to have one. I've demoed all of these. So find the part file and hit open. And we're going to um, we're probably going to be playing around a little bit with the scale. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use at. I think I can go bigger than one to one and still be able to fit all my dimensions. We might just have to bring in a smaller isometric. Um, so let's go ahead and try a two to one for my scale. And then over here, I'm going to project the right side view. So I'm going to left click that and also add that in. And then, um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add the isometric too. So I'm going to move my mouse up to the right. I know it's going to be big but um, we'll fix that later. 
and then I'm going to hit OK. So now I got the views that I want. So I'm going to just scoot. I'm going to hover over till I get the red dotted line to move the front view, which also kind of controls that right side view. But I'm going to scoot that over as well. And then I'm going to bring my isometric down like right about here. And we might be able to just leave the isometric at that scale, but let's get all our dimensioning done and then we'll figure that out later. So I'm going to go ahead and first add in some center marks. So I'm going to switch to the annotate ribbon up top. I'm going to click on the center mark tool now. Since this circle and this circle are concentric, meaning they share the same center, I'm going to click the outermost one, which is this one. And then I also have a cylindrical shape up here, so I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to hit escape on the keyboard to get out of that center mark tool. And now I just need to do a little bit of adjusting, so I'm going to hover over this center mark and drag, left click hold and drag this out a little bit. And I'm also going to do the same thing on this side. Just a little bit past the object. And then finally I'm going to drag this down to kind of just a little bit short of that. The reason why I did that is because I want to show the viewer that these two center marks are aligned on this axis. Finally I need to add in a center line over here for my hidden hole. Now no matter what, even if you don't have the pair uh, Cam, you're still going to have a hidden hole in your side view, so you're still going to have to add in a center line here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on center line bisector here, and I'm going to click the midpoint of this hidden line. Left click once, and I'm going to left click the midpoint of this hidden line. As soon as I do that, it will go ahead and create the uh, center line, and then I can just go ahead and hit escape on the keyboard to get out of the center line tool, and I've now created the center line. So I got all my views set up. I have my center marks and my center lines. Now I just need to add some dimensions to these two views. And then we're going to do some adjustments to the isometric and then fill in our title block and we'll be all done. So again, for the pair I needed, let's start with this radius dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the dimension tool. I'm going to click on that circle or cylindrical feature there and I'm going to add in that radius. And um, I believe we want to adjust the precision of that dimension. So I'm going to go to precision and tolerance. I want to change the units to 3 because that was 0.375. So I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop in this linear dimension from center to center. So again, I'm in the dimension tool. I'm going to click that end point of that and that one. Make sure I see my dotted lines. That tells me I have good spacing. Left click and add that. That I don't need to adjust. It's not rounding or anything. Uh, what do I got next? Let's do the 3 16ths. Now we're going to also add something to this. So every, um, no matter what drawing you did, you have this dimension. So everyone is going to be adding in this diameter dimension. And this one should be... The precision and tolerance should be um, all the way to the 0.1875. So you're adjusting that. And then we want to go back to text and we want to write the word. I'm going to hit space. And then in all caps, I'm going to write THRU period. That stands for through. And that's saying that that hole is going all the way through. So we're going to add that in. And then finally, I'm going to add in this dimension. So I'm going to click on this one right here. Or no, and I'm sorry, we still have one more. I take that back. So I got that. And then I need a thickness dimension there. So I'm going to zoom in. I want to just make sure I click on just the red line. I'm going to drop that down. And then we need to adjust the precision and tolerance of this one to 4.1234 there. And then now I'm good. Last thing I want to do is shade my isometric. So I'm going to double click on the isometric around the red border. And I'm going to click Shaded. I'm going to say OK. And there's that. And then finally, we're going to fill out our title block. Now, if you forgot how to fill out the title block, you're going to drop down this menu here for the title block. And you're going to double click on Field Text. Now, I've set it up so that way you got to type in your name. Notice it says All Caps. So type in your name in all caps, first and last name. For the project title, just type the name of the cam, so Pair Cam. The scale, we did a 2 to 1, 
and then whatever period I have you in, and then say OK. Notice the title block is all filled out. I'm going to click the Save button, and then I'm going to go ahead and print this into, um, or I'm sorry, I'm going to print this and then turn it in. Remember when you print, it could be Control P, or you can click the little printer up top up there. Make sure you're going to the right printer, and just do a quick preview. Make sure everything looks good, which it does, and then you can hit print, and then say OK, and send it to the printer. If you have the snail cam, you have a center mark for this circle, which is concentric with this one. You have a center mark for this arc, which is being shown right there. You'll see your one, two, three, four dimensions there. And this is what that one will look like. And if you have the eccentric cam, you'll see the necessary dimensions here, those four, your center line, and then your two center marks. And finally, if you have the hexagon cam, this is what it's going to look like. Center mark, notice there is still a center line there. It's just sitting on top of this edge that you're seeing in the right side view. And then you got one, two, three, four dimensions with your shaded isometric. Everything's filled out. And that is it for this video for the drawings for your cams.